dude. Bro. Beep, 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 big news. The new Twitch bullshit just dropped. It happened. They finally, they did a new one. Twitch is doing a new, they dropped another bullshit. They dropped more shit. <laughs> they just, they just can't stop, can they? They just can't stop. New turd. <laughs> It's a new turd in disguise. Look, here's the thing. There was a, a tweet came out today, which loops around to, like, I saw the tweet, but it's technically an article on, like, a news website, discussing some thoughts Twitch has regarding changes to its partner program. Now, I, I have some thoughts as well after reading those thoughts. I'll actually, I'll put it up on screen so people can see the bullet points. Uh, because, um, I how I you guys know me. I'm like a I'm my my ideas when it comes to Twitch. I I could quite literally dude, my my ideas are incredible. Okay. I would describe myself as a luminary when it comes to the trajectory of online streaming services. And I don't know why people haven't hired me yet. I don't understand why. Uh anyways, I'm going to pull open the bullet points here. So Twitch is currently discussing ideas of changing the way that the partner program works, uh, which incentivizes more uh, more ads. They want more of those. First of all, they want more of those. We gotta get more of them. The thing everyone doesn't want, we gotta get more of them in there. But it's okay. It's okay because in response to more ads, they're gonna make the streamers uh, angrier as well by... Uh, Doing the thing they've already been doing behind the scenes. Okay, because here's the thing. Currently, every streamer that probably since 2018 gets an automatic and locked in 50% revenue split with subscriptions on Twitch. Uh, it's a shit split. And there are like you people that want to get beyond that have been locked out for a long time, according to the people I've spoken to at Twitch. I have a 70-30 split. So I, I stand to lose more than a lot of people that are already angry despite the fact they're at the 50% cut. However, that doesn't exactly bother me uh, that much, specifically because of the fourth bullet point. I don't care about the tier system. Who fucking cares? People accidentally do tier two and tier three subscriptions because there's no actual incentive to do them. Uh, whatsoever. So adding new, more ridiculous and stupid ways to accidentally send me money is whatever. It simply does not matter. I don't care about it. I cannot care less about it, as a matter of fact. Uh, but the important one to me that actually, like, isn't so bad and is the dumbest thing I've ever seen, which just makes me look like... It makes me feel like all of these bullet points are a joke. Like, this is a big clown. Like, this is a, this is a goof that they're doing is it says no more exclusivity for context for context prior to me becoming an official twitch partner i used to stream at the same time on youtube and twitch meaning i was always live on both at the same time because that was allowed when i signed my partner contract i had to say oh i can't do that anymore or i'll get my contract revoked if Twitch goes through with this and starts fucking totally taking a big poopy dump all over uh, themselves, I can assure you every single person the second this no more exclusivity thing comes out is going to cross stream on every single platform because it simplifies the process of uploading VODs by about a thousand times. Really, the only person that loses out on this is Brett because... Boy, oh boy, if I'm restreaming to YouTube and automatically uploading those VODs, unfortunately that will uh, remove his job. <laughs> so that's a that's a bummer in some ways because I really do quite appreciate Brett's help with that, but uh, the exclusivity clause being removed would unfortunately uh, put uh, Brett on uh, on thin ice. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. I 
I don't think Twitch is going to integrate these changes because it would be dumb. Uh, getting rid of exclusivity really seems to serve no purpose, but a short-sighted, like, I don't know, maybe they're afraid, maybe they're trying to avoid streamers being bought out for exclusivity in other places, so if they aren't exclusive on Twitch, they won't I don't know. It's like there's truly no way for me to format, like, to figure out why the fuck they would even include that. But I think that in the writing of, like, the article, apparently it's, you can try to negotiate for no more exclusivity. Which is, um, which is even dumber. Because if you let some people negotiate that they can advertise everywhere at the same time, everyone's going to say, Twitch, I'm so fucking out of here so hard because now you're just deciding who gets to actually promote themselves everywhere while you keep everyone else in a hostage situation. That is the dumbest thing I could possibly think of. So surely they won't do that. Surely this is an automatic everyone uh, come summertime will be allowed to stream wherever and however they want at the same time regardless. Of course! But Tomato, are you a super mega partner TM? I don't think 70% isn't that rare. It is nowadays, because as I recall last time I spoke to like my contact with Twitch, uh, they locked those down like two years ago. Any new person that's been a part that's become a partner since then is at 50-50, no doubt in my mind, because there's no you don't have the choice to do otherwise. But uh yeah, I mean, like, I mathematically won't lose that much from them doing this. I still won't run many ads out of simply laziness. But, I mean, I'll make more money from cross-streaming to YouTube than I will likely the 30, the 20% I lose off of Twitch. So, Twitch, by all means, shoot yourself in the legs a couple of times for me because it would make my job thrive. You actually don't understand. People are panicking, but it's like, they are truly shooting themselves in the foot in the dumbest way possible because I will immediately benefit. If every one of these gets pushed through, I will, I will benefit from it. And I'll stop relying on Twitch, which is even worse for them. <laughs> Who's benefiting from the 70-30 split? People like me who get an extra 20% of the split. But I mean, like, you have to remember, the trade-off is, if I'm restreaming to YouTube, okay, at the same time as Twitch, there's a collection of people that one will never watch on Twitch for whatever reason, okay? There's some right there. Two, my VODs are now automatically uploaded to Twitch immediately the same moment that they're streamed. No delay to uploading my VODs. Ads run on my YouTube channel. My VOD channel makes me, like, actually makes me a lot more money than my old YouTube channel did. And, and this is kind of like the uh, bummer and will likely happen to a lot of uh, people in this kind of cycle. I don't need a, I don't need a channel manager, unfortunately, if this kind of thing happens. As much as I, and this is all theoretical. I very much, bread has been a godsend to me as of now, but I truly, literally would not need one if this happens, so I would quite genuinely make a net gain of money if Twitch did this, which is uh, sort of depressing. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad, actually. It's kind of depressing to think about. But Tomato, that means your YouTube channel subs will finally discover your stream. Nah, I just stream onto the uh, trash channel, probably. At least at the start. Just keep paying for it anyways. <laughs> well, for now, so long as there's no uh, sweeping contract changes. See, here's the thing. Here's the other thing. I'm signed in a contract with Twitch. If Twitch wants to augment my contract, that's something that I believe we have to discuss. They can't just be like, hey, you signed a two-year contract and we're going to change it early. I don't believe that is how it works. So, um, I wish them luck with that as well. I'm sure a lot of streamers will uh, let them do that. I'm sure every single streamer that's at 70-30 will be happy to just let Twitch slip in there and change their contract in post. 
Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. Welcome. 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 Would you like to see my contract now or later? Twitch getting rid of exclusivity is going to be the nail in the coffin. It's going, that is truly the biggest thing on this. I honestly, I, like 20% difference for me doesn't matter when you take into account that like I have other revenue streams that will benefit from the other parts of this. So it's like, I don't, that doesn't really bother me, but the exclusivity thing is very interesting and Twitch quite genuinely uh, destroying the only, um, only leverage it's had in the game for a long time, which is that streamers can't go to other platforms simultaneously. Twitch is just going to become this middleman for a billion, people will use Twitch's chat, but everything else, who fucking cares? You know, it's a it's a big mistake. It's a really dumb mistake to even float that idea because if they don't do it now, people are gonna go elsewhere. Because now, if Twitch joints this part out, people are gonna say, "Oh, so you took away the only good part of this shit deal? Well, I'm done. I'm gonna go somewhere else." Because last I checked, now they put it. Now it's on everyone's mind, and they're thinking, "Wait." How much would I benefit from not having exclusivity? And that's the only positive people can wean from this. This was them bringing that up in this conversation. Extremely stupid. Extremely dumb. Less chatters. Look, chat. We can be we can beat around the bush here all we want, but at the same time, more chatters does not equal a beneficial chat experience. One. Two. If I have to choose between a stable income or more chatters, I'm gonna take the first one. <laughs> like, like I can I can read one chat, and I've done this. I did this before when I used to stream on YouTube and Twitch, and I simply had the chat on YouTube turned off. Simple as that. If you want to chat, go to Twitch. If you want to watch, it's there for you everywhere else. Simple as that. Like that's what I did before and it worked great. Like truly I've done what I'm describing before, which is just using a third party. Like there's like, there's a website you can use that just lets you stream to multiple sources at the same time and it worked great. It was actually like flat out good for my channel, like when I did it, because it doubles the chances you have of being like discovered, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If Twitch does this, they are uh, actually committing suicide. They're committing suicide. There's really no way I think they can do this. Like uh, truly, because they have to include it or people will get mad. And, oh man, they fucked up. <laughs> Whoever let this get out, they fucked up big time. That was a big fuck up. Big oops. Uh-oh, oops. Aw, oh, dang. They found out our evil villain plot early. Whoops. Because you have to remember something. Okay, this is the important thing. As much as you might like Twitch's systems, as a streamer, Twitch has the worst discoverability of any platform possibly ever in the uh, entire internet. Uh, so, no self-respecting streamer that wants to grow and continue to succeed will stay on Twitch. If uh, Twitch makes it any more hostile to live here than it already does most of the time. <laughs> You know, but you can sort by minimum views, smile. Look. That's, it's just how it, it's gonna be interesting to see. I'm in a position where I can, I can work with pretty much whatever hand I'm dealt at this point. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky that I'm already, I'm already in the point where I'm not, I don't need to like climb a hill to have like a like stability. So for me it's an interesting hmm what's going to happen? 
But, uh... It's interesting. It's really interesting. Might have missed you saying it, but did they go into any detail about this new tier system or just bullet points? Well, I'm going to... Ass Look, I'm thinking the partner... If they're doing partner tiers and it's not like tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 subs... Like, there's two things that they could be doing. Either one, we're doing like a- we have a partner and then a partner plus kind of thing, which has already been a secret thing in the background, make no mistake, for years. I- I am- I have a 70-30 split. For all intents and purposes, I am a partner plus. Because I have- I have a contract above what is standard. NDA? This isn't NDA. I can disclose whatever part of my financial split I want. Twitch is already happy to disclose this one that wasn't even the official split for years. <laughs> They've done it themselves. This is public knowledge. But um, there's also people certainly above my split of 70-30. And to be, for the record, for the record, well, Twitch doesn't make money, and I know they don't make money because YouTube doesn't make money. None of these streaming services make money. You keep them around because they are extremely, they let you advertise all of your other stuff under your corporate umbrella, okay? That's the point of Twitch and YouTube and all these things is that they're a, they are a utility for your business to do whatever the fuck you want. It's not about making money on these sites, but um, there is, oh man, hang on. It's, it's just strange that they're, it's strange that they're even bothering, like, with all these, like, ooh, we gotta, we gotta make more money, when, like, I, they, I don't think YouTube's ever made a cent. I don't think Twitch has ever made a benefit either. Like, they've never made a profit. They, they, they work on a loss so that you can say that you have this thing and use it to beam advertisements. I guess that's what, I guess they're just trying to beam more advertisements. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I guess it does. I guess they are trying to make it serve its purpose when I really think about it. Ah. Maybe they can sell it to Elon Musk. It doesn't matter which billionaire owns the platform. They still won't know what to fucking do with it. Don't be delusional. I know you're probably goofing, but it's like, no one knows what the fucking do it. It doesn't matter which out-of-touch billionaire touches it. It doesn't matter. They'll never be able to make this site make money. <laughs> the most responsible thing Bezos could have done the second he got a hold of Twitch was pull out a shotgun, take it out behind the farm, and kill it. But he didn't. You didn't want if you if you wanted to make money, the most responsible thing you could have done was gut it and cut his losses. Which billionaires do you think would be the best at streaming? It's, I don't care. I just don't care. I just don't care. I missed which ten years ago. No, you don't. No, you don't. Look, here's the thing. Here's the thing that you're not thinking of with the exclusivity thing, and this is the most important part. A lot of people talk shit about YouTube now, okay? But I've been saying forever, and it's hard to dispute that the player for YouTube is 10 times better than anything Twitch has, or likely ever will have at this point. They've shown their hand on that. And as of recently, with exclusivity, there's been no reason to compare them. In the grand scheme, you're going to watch your streamer. However, if your streamer is on multiple platforms, the, in the, the choice is now there for you to decide what you prefer of two platforms. And now Twitch is in trouble because now people are going to start saying, I prefer watching this on YouTube. Yeah, but YouTube chat is shit. I don't think YouTube chat is as bad as people say it is. I think people are biased. 
to be honest. I've looked at the YouTube chat. It's not that bad. It's Garbo. You guys aren't that perfect either. Remember, we're using like three different fucking apps to fix this chat. There's like three internet scripts you have to use to fix the Twitch one. At the same time. Like duct tape. Let's be honest for a minute. Okay? <laughs> Most of the best additions to Twitch have been from the bonuses. I'm not saying YouTube chat is perfect, sure shit isn't, but when I weigh the pros and cons of Twitch and, like, YouTube's bullshit as fairly as possible, YouTube is not that much worse than Twitch. And I'm not saying I would jump to it in, like, a one, like, an instant, all of me is on Twitch, all of me is on YouTube. But if Twitch gave me the option to split because of the exclusivity thing being dropped, I wouldn't hesitate for a fucking second. Not for a second. Not for a fucking moment. I'd be out of there. Any streamer that continued to stream on just Twitch after Twitch dropped exclusivity would be completely bonkers. YouTube has more censorship. <laughs> Dude, I don't know about that one, man. Twitch is, Twitch is the most fucking sensitive babies ever when it comes to censorship, dude. YouTube is like a fucking wasteland compared to, there's no one out there, it's a wild west. I have seen horrific things on YouTube. <laughs> I have seen things that keep me up at night, staring at the ceiling, wondering if the world is okay, quote unquote. No, I'm not worried about, I'm not, I'm not worried about censorship. Besides, I am not someone that is likely very vulnerable to censorship. They can't live mute my, my swears. Yeah. Besides, I censor you more than YouTube would. <laughs> I jet, I flat out censor you more than you would ever be censored by YouTube on a daily. But who knows? Who knows what the next year will bring? I I cannot imagine Twitch will do this. Because I feel like the points I've made make it very clear that this is brand suicide. This is them, this is them finally making it very clear what their game plan is, and no one wants a piece of it. And YouTube keeps not doing anything, and that's looking pretty appealing to a lot of people, I feel like. <laughs> Here's the thing, right now, YouTube doesn't do a lot of shit. They've done this, they've adopted this new technique where I haven't heard of stupid, like YouTube doing something totally fucking stupid, like unbelievably dumb in a long time. There's weird moderation crap and bullshit, but it's, I'm never seeing fucking tweets like this that make me go, what the fuck? Uh? Dislikes? Yeah, but what do I care about that? I don't use tw I don't use YouTube in any context where I need to care about the dislike. So while that I understand the reason why that's a concern for some of you, it truly personally doesn't bother me because I don't use YouTube for that purpose. Uh, so I I don't frankly care. I think it's dumb, but it doesn't like it doesn't affect my opinion of the site very much. Uh, because I've never looked at the likes or dislikes for my own content ever, and I don't really watch YouTube otherwise. So. Trust me. If you've ever if you've ever disliked one of my videos, I did not know. Even before there were dislikes visible, I did not know because I do not check. <laughs> ever. For the best.
look, what the, what should have been the response to them getting rid of dislikes should have been them getting a larger moderation team at the minimum. I don't think YouTube ever made any statement about that. That's what they should have done. If they were doubling down on getting rid of dislikes, they should have made it very clear that they were taking moderation on their site a lot more seriously to get rid of like fraudulent shit that actually needs to be removed, like things that are actually unsafe for people. But obviously they didn't do that to my knowledge. That's what they should have done is they should have, they should have addressed the concern of what about like actual scams and like crimes? What do we do about that? They should have said, well, we're going to be taking reports much more seriously, et cetera, et cetera, but they didn't do that. But I mean, look, YouTube did that really quickly and then they disappeared again and stayed completely silent. Twitch does this thing where they get very loud about things and then just keep doing things. And that doesn't work. It's just not working. If you're gonna be a shithead, do it quietly. Just do it quietly like YouTube. That's all you have to do. If I have less instances to say you are being a shithead, I'll forget over time that you're a shithead if I have someone else to compare you to that's doing even more like shithead tier stuff. You know what I mean? It's easy. It's so easy. The fact that they dropped this now means that all the drama will die down by the time it actually comes out and everyone will be talking about the streamer drama of the month instead. I don't, here's the thing. That's not entirely true. Twitch seems to be one of the most susceptible sites to streamer bullying uh, of any I've ever seen, where if enough people get really angry and yell at them, Twitch is usually the one that's like, uh, oops. And they usually pick up their garbage off of the ground and stumble back out the door to mass applause. So maybe that's why I'm doing my part. <laughs> That's why I'm doing my part. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. As a side note, Twitch, if you want me to stop picking on you, you can pay me millions of dollars and an exclusivity, a true exclusivity contract, and I will stop on the spot. I will, I will completely sell out if you give me the money. Give me the bag and I will stop. But until then, I'm a hero. Buy my silence. <laughs> Buy my silence now. My silence is for sale, yes. Do you have different silence packages? No, it's too complicated. Is Amazon buying Twitch the worst or best thing for this to happen to site? If Amazon didn't buy Twitch, Amazon would be closed. There's a reason there's no competitors to Twitch is because this industry costs an insane amount of money. <laughs> it's extremely expensive. This site would not exist if Amazon had not bought Twitch. It would have shut down. Simple as that. Yeah, Chad, I, I meant, I meant, I meant Twitch would be closed. Yes, of course I fucking meant Twitch would be closed. I don't care what I said out loud. You know what I fucking meant. Too late, dude. You said it. Bozo. You said it, Bozo. Idiot. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> the backbone of Amazon is Twitch. <laughs> yeah, nah, but for real. I, like, you don't have a big streaming, like, servers cost a lot of money. All this kind of shit costs a lot of fucking money to support. That's why these sites never operate on a, uh, you know, a net gain. 
They just can't. YouTube wouldn't exist if Google didn't own them. You know, same exact thing. Need billions of dollars to make these sites run. Just, uh, put it in the cloud. I really think YouTube would be fine, but on a smaller scale. YouTube needs the money more than Twitch does, because you gotta remember something. YouTube doesn't automatically delete VODs. <laughs> YouTube literally needs so much money because it's an ever-bloating mess. Okay? It's an ever-bloating mess that never stops. Ever. Because if they were to go, guys, Every video that has less than a hundred views on it, we're gonna start deleting after six months. People who only watch streamers with over like a hundred thousand subscribers would lose their gourds. They would lose their noggin. They would lose it. What? <laughs> That's like the same thing as burning books, YouTube. And then, and then riots. <laughs> then it's the collapse of society. My 100 view video. <laughs> well, first thing, everyone just starts refreshing their video 100 times before they, uh, you know, make it go live. That'd be what, that's the first thing that would happen. And then YouTube would be uh, truly fucked. Can I get all my friends to watch this video? I don't want it shut down, dude. We gotta keep it. We gotta keep the man down, dude. We gotta keep him away. Can't let him. Let the cringe survive. We have to keep the cringe alive. Please. My video only has 73 views from 10 years ago, though. Think about this, though. Like, there's something fascinating about uploading stuff like that, and only, like, after 10 years, having 73 views. Imagine the fucking wild day the people who watch, who fucking managed to find that video, must have been having. It's like a, it's like a secret club. Keep all your vids from deletion with our new monthly paid program. <sighs> ah yes, my bleach, <laughs> my bleach X Naruto AMV is finally popping off. Ah yes, my game, my cool gamer video is finally popping off after all this time, dude. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, <laughs> and I know this makes me sound like an asshole. Some videos deserve to be uh, deleted off of YouTube. I think we should put it to a vote. Okay. Some of the shit that gets put on that site don't need to be there. Some of mine owning my own included. Okay. I say we put it to a vote with the like and dislike meter. Wait, oh, hang on. Never mind. There goes that one. Has the YouTube ads been really aggressive lately? Dude, I truly... YouTube has never been able to stop Adblock. It's hilarious. Like, I, I don't even, like, update to new versions of Adblock. YouTube has just never been able to do it. And I respect that. <laughs> that's how I know there's something wrong. I, that's how I can tell I'm on like the wrong, like the wrong like browser or something. Is if like I go to YouTube and it runs an ad. It's like there's something wrong. 
Huh, what? Twitch is 50-50 on fighting ad block for me. Dude, I remember for like the fucking week when Twitch was like, Hey guys, no more partners don't get ads anymore, dude. Partners don't get ads anymore. Ain't that fun? And everyone cheered and then a week later, they quietly re-enabled ads for all partners. Truly a week later, they went, uh, we'll just quietly flip that switch back on now that all the partners thanked us. And they just pretended it didn't happen. I'll never forget. I didn't use it because I only watch my friends who I'm already subscribed to because we uh, each subscribe to each other in order to, of course, launder money. But, you know, the thought still counted. I knew it! <laughs> well, we launder money for Twitch because we both lose money. When I subscribe to my friend and they subscribe to me, we both lose money and Twitch gets all of it. So really, we're, we're just giving Amazon money. God knows they need it. Our mom and pop, you know, company that needs so much. Everyone feel, have a little bit of fucking pity. Have a heart. Have a heart, you know? Oh, dude, I'm so excited. Friday is the new D&D &D campaign that Joe's running, and my character backstory is all written up and good, and the first thing Joe did when he saw my character's name was go, haha, that's funny. And I had given him a normal name. So I I'm, I was stunlocked by that. I, I ended up just sort of playing it off and acting like I didn't, like I thought it was funny too. But I truly did write it, like my character has a normal name. Which, uh, maybe that's the funny part, because my character is a, of course, like, tree person. And his name is the equivalent, the Norse equivalent of being named, uh, like, John. <laughs> so, so maybe that's what it's about. Maybe, maybe that made him laugh. But, I don't know, it, it, it kind of, it kind of made me feel a little insecure, dude. What's the name? You'll have to watch on Friday to find out, which of course Friday is also Variety Horror Day, leading up to it. We have a planned schedule now. We're becoming a more official channel. Every, every week I get a little more powerful. I also didn't end up going to the allergist today, even though that was like the thing that I thought would fuck up my stream today. I like, I like had this, I had this thing like late last night where I was like, I'm going to like look up the medication that my allergist wants me to take. And then I looked it up and then I was like, hold up, never mind. <laughs> Cancel, pull the plug on that one. I don't want to deal with this right now. I just don't. It wasn't like a super bad thing, but I remembered that I have to go. Look, I got, I'm getting referred to like a different, like different doctors for like different unrelated things. And I was like, I looked at what the medication can do. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to complicate my visit to this other doctor with this thing that can apparently fuck up all the lab results in my body for the next like fucking forever while I'm taking it. So I was like, mm, I'm just going to cancel. Just going to pull the plug on that one. And I think my allergist... Uh, is I, I think the whole uh, clinic is mad at me because they haven't uh, replied to my message to cancel or any of my reasoning as to why I canceled. They've just sort of ghosted me and I haven't been able to get into a call with any of them. Because, like, I don't need the medication I was going to get today to be alive. It's just, like, a mild convenience to me because I don't need to take, like, allergy pills every day instead. So it was like, oh, hell yeah, I'll just take it. But then I looked it up and it was like, oh, it messes up. It, it really just fucking, it really grinds up your whole body into goo and then destroys you. You won't be able to tell though. It's just happening behind the scenes. It's safe. It is safe. That's not even me joking. It is a safe medication. It's just like, I was like, eh. <laughs> you excluded all these parts. You excluded these. You didn't tell me these doctor.
Sounds like a fair trade. Dude, it's just like, I had to like, I'm, I'm for context, and I am fine. I've been fine every time I've ever had to do a doctor thing, but I was suggested because of like some weird, consistent weirdness in my like blood tests over the course of like four years that I go to a hematologist, like just to like ask about these things and they're gonna run some other tests. I don't need to put something in my veins that's going to fuck up any future blood tests I have for the next, you know, four months. I don't think I want <laughs> so I was like, I only realized it like an hour before the t like the appointment today. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I super duper don't want to do this yet. I would have had gamer blood. Maybe I could have been responsible and just like sort of like, you know. Tomato was on IV allergy meds. No, I mean, like, here's the thing. Uh, a lot of allergy medication, like injection-based stuff, uh, can interact with a lot of your immune system cells, which uh, is relevant for, like, blood work and stuff. And sort of change the results of those. And that's, the that's like, the concern of my lab tests. So I don't want to take something that's going to interact with the thing that I'm actively trying to ask a doctor about. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just dumb to, like, take something before I go to a doctor about the problem that's going to fuck with the doctor's answers. Oops, that was my fuck up. Woke up at 6 a.m. to try to call the fucking allergy place early because I felt bad about canceling at the last minute, and they never answered one time. I don't even know if they realized I didn't show up. They might have just, like, given my, like, medication to someone else. Who fucking knows? Oh, fuck, I'm too high for this, says a chat member. Call them their crying. Well, look, I don't care. <laughs> look, they got my copay regardless, I bet. I bet I'm going to get a bill for $15 from them somehow, so I don't care. I'm sure somehow I get contact by the allergist company and they're going to be like, you owe us fucking 15 bucks. Oh, it's fifteen thousand dollars. No, I wasn't getting. Uh, I wasn't getting IVIG. That wasn't. That wasn't what I was going for. I don't think. Look, don't don't worry about it, chat. It was just a little funny thing. I'm fortunately. Uh, Unfortunately, my my problems are dealt with by allergy medication. I am not I am not miserable by any means. <laughs> I'm not miserable by any means. It's just that I uh, man I go through a lot of these bottles of uh, 24 hour al allergy medication. Man, I I cut through those. Those aren't covered by insurance. <laughs> Man, oh man, thank God I got a Costco. You know, I got I got Kirkland brand generic, you know? I got the classics out here. I, I, I've got bulk deliveries. Kirkland fucking brand water. Tastes better than anything else in the system. Take Benadryl before every stream. Dude, I'll never forget. The day before WoW Classic, no, the day of WoW Classic, downing Benadryl by accident, thinking it was headache medication. Like a half an hour before WoW Classic launched, like on like on someone's stream, and then proceeding to still stay up for another eight hours while Benadryl was knocking me unconscious. Benadryl doesn't stop allergy symptoms. It puts you in a coma until they go away. Yeah, nah, Benadryl's bullshit. But I mean, here's the thing about allergies. It is accurate to say that if you're asleep, uh, you won't know you have allergies anymore. <laughs> 
That is... That is the best medicine possible. Have you ever woken up and been like, God, I was... My fucking allergies were killing me that whole time I was fully asleep, unconscious. Not usually. Sometimes. I've had that one time. I, I, I did have one dream in my life where I also had allergies in the dream, and I'll tell you what, that one was a fucking real bummer. That one was a bummer. Trying to escape my allergies, I fucking wake up in the dream and I sneeze. Immediately. I sneeze in the dream. Must have rolled a three. A three could be a good thing. That doesn't mean I'm. That doesn't mean a bad roll. On uh, um, what kind of dice? What does that even mean in this context, idiot? Hmm. D twenty. Oh. A three in a D100 game is great. Look, I I just... Look, man. There's no fucking reason you should ever need to even use a D100 in your whole life. This goes out to every DM, you sickos. The only reason you use D100s is so you can really, like, like get a good excuse for hurting the players. It's for sickos. Pulling out the big ball and rolling it. So you can get like a fucking something that's sub 10 and pull out your fucking like, like thing that you wrote up just so you could be as psycho as possible. You pull out your psycho result that you deliberately put away at one point. You said, no, that's too crazy. No, 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 no. That's too crazy. So then someone rolls a four and you're allowed to pull out the crazy option because it's, it's impossible. Crendor rolling that 100 on the wild magic table was honestly fake. I never asked Brett what the true result of that was, because I'm almost positive it wasn't Crendor's character bursting into fog at the end of the campaign. That was storytelling. So I don't know what the fuck that effect was. I don't think anyone does. I think it was a wish. No, nah, but he did things that would have... Caused that wish to go off, I feel like. I think he did things. It might have been. The, the the glowing went away, so I think it, it, it deactivated after a long rest or something, but... Eh, eh, who cares? Skagzag's dead. They all are. Every one of them. Canonically, they're all dead. The only character that, in lore, ha has no chance of dying anytime soon is, of course, the slime. Genuinely flat out immortal. I've kind of power gamed. <laughs> when I die, I instantly resurrect as a level one character. <laughs> Could you imagine? If I perish, I just become a level one slime again. Clurnt lives on in the spirit of all capitalists. Well, he, live, he lives on in the spirit of Clurnt Mart, which is uh, an in-lore location that is yet to be visited. He lives on. In, like, the equivalent of, like, uh, Little Caesars. He lives on the same way Julius Caesar lives on in every Little Caesars you see as you drive by it on the highway. Same, same thing. Same thing. <laughs> Aren't the goblins technically immortal? 
I think something. I, I think it was established that we are deceased until unless Brett changes something. I believe the assumption is that all of us are dead, which is fine by me. It's been so long. Dead, super dead. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and when I come back, we're gonna play the Stanley Parable Omega Super Deluxe Edition. Be right back. I can't wait for Tomato's heart to stop at the end of this stream. What? What did you... What did you do? What, what did you do, though? What did you... Why did you say that? Why would you say that? Did you... Uh... Why? I don't under... I don't under... You one of them? You one of them warlocks from Witch Talk? You, you one of them warlocks? Well, we got warlocks of our own. Adept in counter hexing, and you're gonna regret it. <laughs> Pulls out gun in the video game and loads it. That's right. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna play this game. I just, I just have to. I just wanna. I've had enough of this. Whatever this is. So they, do you want me to send them pictures of mammal hearts again? Hold off on the mammal hearts, Joe. But thank you. Hold off on the mammal hearts for now. For just for now, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Stanley. What's his problem anyways? I don't even know what parable means. <laughs> I chose not to learn that. I, I, when my teacher tried to teach me that in high school, I went, bleh, 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 and I put my, hand, my fingers in my ears so I wouldn't learn. Oh, the music for the Yoshi is still playing. Mario. There we go. I went, me, 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 and I covered up my ears so I wouldn't have to learn para these nuts. There it is. There it is. There's one every stream, baby. There's one every stream. There's one every stream. Uh, English subtitles. Thank you. Have you played the Stanley Parable before? Yes. Matter of fact, I have until I was unceremoniously uh, removed from my stream as a result of a power outage. So technically, yes. I guess I'll answer with a yes. An act of God, if you will. <laughs> I, I was, I was unceremoniously ripped from the stream by an act of God. Only that could keep me from my duty. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Yeah, but I'm streaming. So I'm going to turn it up more. <laughs> Please enter the current time. Why do you want to know that? Three. No. It's 
I'm gonna wait until it says 59 though. I'm gonna wait until it's 59 so I can get it exact. It's important that it's exact. I'm gonna be off by a little bit. Time ducks. I want 100% accuracy. So I'm gonna have to wait until it says 359. The sound of that clock turning made me think I was making the sound at the back of my throat. Does that make sense? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't, Joe. No. Come on. I almost didn't click enter. It's just, it's just, it's just not a normal thing. It's time! Accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. So for the, for the people that don't know about this, uh, they basically at like doubled the content of the original Stanley Parable game and like made like an expansion that's like on sale if you own the original. Uh, pretty cool beans. Wait, hang on. Accessibility settings. For a mild dude like me? Mm -hmm. oh. Seven, nice fucking FOV, Boomer. What the fuck? Turn that. I mean, I guess that's. I guess this is Zoomer FOV. I want. I want Boomer FOV. I want to turn this up to ninety. I can't see otherwise. Uh, enables additional text next to gameplay critical colors. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna leave the content warnings off because this is the Stanley Parable and I am almost 100% positive that none of these aren't things I've already played with zero content warnings a hundred thousand other times. I don't think Stanley Parable is gonna get too spicy, to be honest. If it did though, whoa! I will turn it on immediately if it goes crazy. If Stanley Parable kicks it up to 11, don't worry, I'll come back over here. I'll loop back around. I don't see it happening, though. Okay. Audio, video... Yeah, I'm at 640 by 480 at 23 hertz. Hang on, am I? What's my hertz on my mod? 60 hertz. We're at 60. Yeah, this is what 640 by 480 looks like, upscaled to 4K, and then downscaled again to 1080p. With AI-generated frames, bringing it up to a smooth 60 FPS. Okay, everything else looks good. Again. You may see the sex scene. Stop! This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Dude, this, this game hits different now that I've watched Severance, dude. Every day of every month. This game gives me a new vibe now. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Stanley. Dude, wait a minute, Severin stole their plot from the Stanley Parable! And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order oh my God. arrived on the monitor. For That's not what the monitor's supposed to look like. It's supposed Severin to have that cat on it! To give him instructions. Supposed to have that fucking cat, that's how you know the monitor is working. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Something's wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. What if I choose to continue to be unable to move for an even longer amount of time? Mm. Checkmate, narrator. It happened again. 
Just kick back. <laughs> you guys think they actually plant? They must have. This is like the easiest one. Right? Right? Broom closet ending. <laughs> Shut up. It's not broom closet. This one's going to be different than the broom closet ending. I don't think... I don't think the guy's going to come back. I'm going to give it another, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> Just hang on! Okay, fine. Hello? I hate day. Mon oh, that's Mondays. I thought the person just hated days. Like, in general. This is my electronic sharpener. It's funny that that makes the typing sound, but if I try to type on this, it doesn't make one. I can type on the phone. Oh, my chair. Naturally. All right, well. Everyone, where is everyone? Where's my... All of his co-workers were gone. Huh? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Boss? Boss? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. This is the sharpener corner. This is where we put the naughty employees. At the sharpener, they just sharpen pens all day. Because we don't even have, we don't really use that many pencils. There aren't that many of them. It's mostly pens, so you just sharpen pens. Someone in chat? Hey, welcome first time chatter. They say PP. Their first chat message is PP. Welcome. Come on in. You'll fit in just fine. I'm sure you've noticed. Hello? What the hell's going on in this place? What the heck is this all about? What's the uh, papers on? The, what is it we even do in this company? Hello? Coffee's been spilled. Guys? Anyone? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do I just like follow this guy? The streamer already missed 50 endings. Day ruined. <laughs> Shut, stop it! I think I'm gonna listen to him for a, for a bit. Come on, we gotta do the honest ending at least for a minute. Just for a little bit. Every single door in this goddamn building is locked. Everyone, I'm here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. We just got to to the boss, figure out what's going on here. Synergize. Core value expenditures. Shift global market par parade. Monetize free to play. Everyone is unique, most of all you. Chat? Paradigm. Well, chat, how do you know? Maybe it says par parad paradoxical. Who fucking knows, dude? Number of slides on this slide. Slides. Charts and slides. Paradigm more like. <laughs> True! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Good to be home. Draw this time. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It's exactly how I remember it. Every last piece of this is the exact same as always. All the same. 
It should was be. It's baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. What? Gasp! Repeat stream, rerun. You can't, you truly cannot prove that I'm not just restreaming the old VOD, are you can really you? you still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely... I'm just gonna wait for him to get to his, his, his like, wits end, and then I'm leaving. Give me one more. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring okay, it. I'm gonna to give find him out. like one more dialogue. It didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely oh, no God. significance. Well, I'm a little to the bit story. madder. I'd like him what angry. So ever. You know, I want him I angry. I would have thought to mention it. Just, just get, him, get him a little bit angrier. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe. All right, I'm done. Talk about this. All right, I'm, le I'm say, leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending. Can I get the achievement again for the broom great. closet ending? I hope you're Guys, I don't have any achievements on Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I'm going back into the broom closet. He got me back in there, baby. He reeled me back in. I'm missing all the achievements for Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Okay. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's Fine, how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <sighs> Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be... All right, I'm done. We're not doing this ending. I've already done it. We've been here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to... I'm not doing it again. What did you say? Upstairs? Now I'm... Now I'm feeling rebellious. I can almost read what this says, but not enough. You know what I mean? Like, I can almost make sense of this. I can't enhance, chat. My fucking... My OBS has been ruined for a while, and if I enhance, it's gonna break everything. I can't enhance. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, True. why had he taken that risk? True. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. He's right. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Uh -huh. All of my co-workers blinking uh -huh. mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical no. sense. And as Stanley pondered this, no. he began to make other strange Not this one again. For not example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked? Not down? this again! No, not this why again! The doors close automatically behind him. Where? Uh, this is a vanilla ending. We gotta get out of here. His rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Uh, uh, they simply repeated. Uh, no, Stanley said to himself, "This is all too strange. This can't be real." Uh -huh. And at last, uh, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. Uh, I'm dreaming! He yelled. Uh, this is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He vanilla ending lull. Chat! Wasn't crazy it's not like there's a fucking walkthrough guide for Stanley Parable that says how to get to the Ultra Deluxe content. It's a game about getting to the ending. What do you want from me? So, Dad, you just you didn't know how to navigate the game perfectly, huh? 
Then he imagined himself soaring through space <gasps> on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had. Maybe this thing. Maybe it won't end this time. How was he remaining so lucid? Maybe it won't end this time. Maybe there's more to it this time. Maybe that's the secret this time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe this ending will change. Is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about Wait a minute, what the hell is this? Look at this texture, me, there's something wrong. Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, yes. he thought. How am I able to see be beyond the, odd, the cabinet? I wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. Huh? The truth was what is this course, cheap shit? This was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Huh? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever no. been in his life. No! Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. And the ending! I, I understand now! I'll try harder to find the secret one next time! Just dream. stop! Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment stop. ago? How else would the voice explain all that? Stop. This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could stop. just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was That's a dream. it, I'm gonna do it, pulls out gun. And he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake that's up. That's it, I'm gonna, he that's it. Cool I'm taking matters in my own hands. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. <laughs> Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Oh, I'm you're... through with this dream. Oh, you're not waking up ever, over. Stanley. Not after Let this me go one. Back to my Slash me, cocks gun. pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. We're going to be fine. I am okay. We're going to be good. I'm in my lane. Stanley began screaming. Oh, please, ah! someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. What's happening again? We've already boss, been here. It's a rerun stream. Real. Please, please. Just someone tell me I am real. Someone I find me the old end, the new ending. I want a new ending. Help! Help! And everything went black. E this is the story of a woman named Mariella. I don't give two shits about Mariella, dude. I cannot believe I got the vanilla ending again. Gathered her belongings and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, Mariella can go to hell. Interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the. I don't remember asking about Mariella. Is the thing? To go call for an ambulance. For just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. I'm mad that you got the vanilla ending that wasn't even the broom closet then ending. she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. All of his co-workers were gone. Don't care. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two <gasps> doors, he entered. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> Ah, yes. Ah, yes, truly a room Ah, mind. yes, the employee really lounge. the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Ha! <sighs> this place is my place, all right. Ah, oh, the fun we have here. Yes, 
really, really worth it being here in the room. He's going for the fucking break room ending, dude! God damn it! Your co-workers have mysteriously vanished. Here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Brings me back to the good old days. In the good old days, Counter-Strike Source CS at this point, office. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poor God damn. personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Oh man, I I I loved CS Source, man. Lo that's when games were good. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Wrong. Wrong. Don't answer for me. Wrong. He went to go get some soda. Is that, is that a new sharpener? Hang on. I'm gonna... This is like... Guys, this is like the... This is like tier two of the fucking like closet ending, all right? Ooh. Any second now. <laughs> Anything now, we're gonna find closet ending too, guys. I promise. At least sweep or something weird. <laughs> I'm out of here, dude. I'm tired of being shamed for playing Stanley Parable. At last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. Whatever. He took the first open door on his left to get back to business. <gasps> And so he detoured through the maintenance section, oh. walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. One thing I do know is I've never come in here and pressed that button before. Not once. Never have I walked in here and pressed that button before. But am I really gonna throw away my chance at work? Oh, no, just take it back to the meeting room. We don't want that. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. I'm going to so bumble around and get, get back, even further off track. On, uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um left ah uh, okay well these don't open i don't know he seems like he knows where he's going i'll listen oh no no it's to the right my mistake bumble ending vanilla ending omega low chat we are officially at look chat here's the thing i didn't play through all of the stanley parable because an act of God turned my stream offline and shut down my power within about two hours of me playing it. So if I haven't seen it before, it's fair fucking game because I literally don't know the difference. Okay, so I'm going to just play whatever the fuck I want. No, 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 not the right. Huh. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute? Yeah, you got it, man. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. There's not going to be a monster yep. stuff. Okay, please. okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. That's a car. Uh... Are you sure? Like, I'm happy to try a different one. All right, if you, uh... You say, if you say so. It's, uh, deeper down into the... Into the basement? Get shot in the basement ending. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. I'm looking at all of it. Quick, Stanley, close your I'm eyes. I'm looking at all of it. I'm looking at all of it. Okay, okay, okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. 
How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No. And this time, suppose we don't no. wander so far off. No, track. I'll no. die! Okay. From I'll the die! Top. I'll die! Hey. <laughs> Let's get out there. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wow. What a day. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? Huh? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the oh. game over, completely fresh. Huh? Everything should be... What well, else? Was... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know oh, for what? sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come on, Stanley. Let's find the story. What? I don't... Um, well... I've never been given this many, uh... Many choices before. I take chair. I can't jump this. I'll take this one, then. Hello? Inner guilt. Everyone knows what you did. They're just holding back to let you torture yourself. I don't want to go into inner guilt. I'm worse skipping. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Oh, no, no, I got this. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. No. Why not? No! Uh, 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 all of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. How many times are we gonna be here? Before this place finally falls apart? I don't know what I just did to that computer. Hang on, I can turn off these computers. It's the responsible thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can do my I can do my part for society. Yeah. 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 Sure I'll do. All right, man. Okay, yep. It's worse. Where's the door? I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just Don't send came me back from. There. Why don't we go back the other direction? And see if we missed anything. No. No, that's unnatural. I have to always remain confident moving forward. I can't go back. The door always locks behind me. I can't. You can't just make me do something like that. One of these guys has the room 420. They must be super cool. True. That guy must be the coolest one. If we could see him, but they keep him hidden. Maybe the. Or Chad, we're gonna find the story in a minute. No. We're gonna find the story in a second. In a second. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew we'd miss something. Uh, this the possible. story. Here it comes. How the hell? Oh. Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? Wait, huh? What? But I... How's that? How's this all happening? How's this possible? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. <laughs> oh! It seems we made a mistake. 
They read it. And I'm gonna be the one who pays for it. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Something's Is this wrong. the story? I don't think so. There's I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, black mold all over the walls and floor. Do you remember, Stanley? Or do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about Senile this? Senile narrator and win. Like, Congratulations! <laughs> I win, baby! I knew you put Woo! in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good Thank you. job. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. I did. I Some feel like Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to no. restart. No. No. Yeah. All right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Oh. Just follow the line. How simple is that? All righty. Let's go back to the line. I'm going back to the line. Yes, I'm going. You already made it bad enough. I'm gonna follow the line. But it's like I play fucking solitaire. Nah, no, stay on the line. Stay on the goddamn line. The lines. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Okay. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. I'm just not gonna look at anything around no. me. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being in the line. by the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that yeah. the nature of existence okay. is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of mm -hmm. this office, mm -hmm. is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. What just That's happened? Huh? Right there? Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all uh, that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Bro! Ah! Just... Oh, the line! The line. Oh. Oh. We're going to be fine as long as everyone just follows the line. Is this what it's like to be a streamer? Like, I, I feel like I... Is this what it's like to watch me? Like, watch me just do this horrible fucking, like, jerking motion and weave around like an idiot? Instead of just going in a straight line? Yes, whatever! We're almost to the end, I can feel it! Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. What? But that's not part of the... That's not part of the line. That's... That's... That's back, that's not the right way. 
That fern wasn't part of the line. We never divert from the line. If the line wanted us to go to the fern, it would have included one of them zigzags like there when the line wants us to go to this wall. We have to have faith in the line. I'm moving on. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on one second. Line go this way. Line go this way, yes? Yes. Oh no, 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 no. I'm looking. Again. I'm looking with my eyes. You have done this to I'm us. watching, I'm looking as hard as I can again. I'm looking again. Everything we've been through. I'm watching with my eyes. Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. Taking it in. <laughs> I just can't stop looking up spoilers. I just can't stop. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What? What's it ever done for us? No! We're intelligent people. No, right? I need the line. Why I love the line. Our own story. Something exciting, daring, Don't mysterious. touch the line. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? The line. We need the line. I. Oh. I like work. I just hate my boss. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> no line really does make me feel strange now. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Can it be a little bit Go less on. back rooms? Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. <laughs> I imagined uh, a, a weaving path to the right. And then the left. And then it goes to the right again. And that goes to the right oh, one more no, time. Not you and again. then the line comes back! Stanley, I'd also like to veto <laughs> the line. There it is, dude! I awesome missed you, story. line. No lines or monitor rooms. Just I missed the line. You should be fine. It's good to have you back after all this time. My best friend, the line. Ooh, doing some crazy stuff to... What? Line went somewhere I can't follow. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Okay, here we go. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just we have full autonomy. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. If I see a line, I follow, dude. I don't somewhere, know what else to say. The place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since yeah. the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. <sighs> Another victory for logic. <sighs> Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits.
<laughs> oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? No. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? No. No. That's really how all this goes? No! It's all no! So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? No. Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. My death is prophesied. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I'm gonna I just pop a squat while it. this guy finishes his tantrum. And the timer to stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Um. So. Maybe, maybe, maybe okay. we make the time a move again, man. It's unnatural, it's not right. Because now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. No, 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 start out, restart the game. Sure if we're restart in the it. Or the journey. Restart it. saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I, I get to find the line again if you restart. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... <sighs> oh. The failsafe, of course. There is no deviating from the line. We knew it from the start, chat. We knew it from the goddamn start. There's no deviating from the line. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's never been any deviating from the line all along. We've been in the same loop all along, and we didn't even know it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What did the schedule tell me to do again? Where's the line? Look, the t I cannot deviate from the schedule. The schedule is already predetermined for me. Thus, I will go this way. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. You got it. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. I like Please drinking the mop water. That's what I do. I come in here and I take sips out of the mop water. That's my thing. That's my dis- That's my nasty fascination with the broom closet. You happy you got it out of me? Let's leave. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Us? Why, the executive bathroom? <laughs> Everyone deserves to be spoiled every once in a while. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Extreme bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. 
What a lovely bathroom this is. Maybe, chat, maybe, maybe we broke from the line. What is that picture? I don't like that picture. What is this? Business strategy. I am the most expensive boss. I'm getting out of here. Where's the line? Going up. Going down gets us that boring vanilla ending. We go up! Wait, I mean, I want to go down. the narrator see at the same time. Something is wrong with this elevator. It's just shaking. It's not even moving me up and down. Let's go down. off about this place but it's definitely a different floor than last time you can tell because of the executive bathroom it's different issues on, of magazines on the, the stool here it's a different place it looks the same but it's different it's an elevator room not an elevator that it might be true boss Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumb. <laughs> Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two, eight, We've four, been here. Five. How many times have we been here? How many times have we been in this situation, narrator? You know I'm gonna waste some two, time. Two, eight, four, five. You know I'm not gonna give it to you that easy. All right, whatever. Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh my God. What the hell's going on in this place? Oh. 
Someone want to tell me what the hell's happening here? Stream, I shouldn't have known that. Your RP failing. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Where's the line? It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his... Where's job. the line? Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. I'm going back for the line. Why did Stanley do that? I'm, go I'm going. I'm going back for the line. Just back to his boss's office. Well, that's I gotta a great question. It. I just can't wait to find out. I'm going back for you. Here we are. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Stop picking on me. Okay, I'm done. All right, I'm ready to go back down the elevator now. Okay, I went to the bathroom, I'm done. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Hang on, I forgot to go to basement then. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. I'm it's having fun. Again to go back up in the elevator. <laughs> it is a fun way. even begin to grapple with what might Wee! be up there. Is it the boss's office again? <laughs> oh, what? It's the boss's office this time. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Yep. Something different seems off about this office this time. What the fuck is that? Is that a rat? There's something dangling over the edge. It looks like a fucking rat. It's gone. It's gone. The thing I was looking at is gone. I was looking at a little thing. There's a little like, gremlin up there. Oh my god, it's the boss's office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a no. time out here for a minute while I process No, 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 you don't understand El Doblino! Okay, I'm ready. Where is it? I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. Guys, I think he's picking on us right now. I think I pissed off... I think I pissed off the DM. <laughs> I think I pissed off the DM. He's like, he's doing what we did. He's doing what we did. The only difference is I still have access to the pause button, asshole. I still have, I can do this whenever I want. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turned to back extra downstairs. Course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? 
I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. <laughs> we have no shoving down this time. That's just how <laughs> revelatory Stanley's decision making is. A breath of fresh air Ooh. in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Huh? What was that? You know what? I've just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Huh? Don't you realize? Huh? It's the anticipation, Stanley. Huh? You and I, we have no way of knowing huh? what will be at the top of this elevator. Huh? But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Huh? Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. No. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice? And slow. You're on, asshole. <laughs> there we go. Isn't this You so haven't much seen one of my intros, have you, pussy? It seems like nowadays <laughs> the only thing that audiences want. You have is to no be idea to who the king of stalling is, they want do you? Big explosive moments flung right in their faces no, no. from the very moment that things get started. No no. Where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow there and it appreciation for the story? There the it is. We can just kick it again. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? We'll just kick you it. You have to think and to anticipate. I don't care. And then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this You're welcome. Bold That's step what I've been telling people about the intros the for years. No. Over and over. It's the most Truly exciting part unique. of the stream. This is unique and different. Yep. It's not like anything else out there. Exactly. See, I want stories that surprise me, Stan. Mm -hmm. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, yep. and we all know it, which is yep. why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like you Certainly so much, not like a tomato intro. Sure Shut up! Spit in the face of tradition. Shut up! You're a role model, you know? People look up to you. Which is why... Though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, huh? well, I've gathered a little press conference for Oh, my God. So that you can talk about your work and your oh storytelling my God. and your life. Yes, I know you're Chaotic not much for the public eye, but yourself. I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. Oh, my God. They really look up to you, Stanley. Oh, my I God. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. Oh, my God. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, my oh God. God. He's got me locked in. No more elevators for old Stanley. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Sure, I don't have time for just one more elevator down. No. All eyes on Stanley, live on stage. That's me. World's healthiest human being. All tricks revealed. How, how we did it? The pyramids. The guy who went to Mars live. How, how did we do it? How, how did the pyramids happen? I don't get it. The storyteller. That's Stanley. Stanley reveals all in his new book. Yeah, I kind of. I'm like a. I'm kind of a luminary when it comes to. I like that word. Luminary is a fun word. I mean, you. I mean, an evening with the world peace, baby. Dude, babies li truly lack a moral compass. Okay, they can't provide world peace to anyone. They literally can't do it. Uh. Also, that baby's ugly. Simple as that. Ah, yes. Here it is. Just through this door. The Stanley Parable Stanley, live today on stage. A Q&A with the world's first sentient machine. Doing great. 
a conversation with Alexander the Great to stage. Right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. Oh my God. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. Oh my God. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Oh my God. Okay. It looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Break a leg, champ. My boss. My boss said that to me. My fucking boss. Stanley, my... My true love... My... What does that say? My true love for you grows every day. You make me feel alive. Your wife... From the apartment ending. That spoiled a whole half of the game for me. That's a real bummer. Uh, I love the way you ride elevators. Heart XX. <laughs> Careful, Jab. You might have to cut the feed. If it can. We might not be able to show many more of these on feed. Gets any more, gets any more like this. I don't know. No one tells stories the way you do. Go get them, Tiger. Story. Stanley. Stanley. Me. What is that, dad? I ain't my... I ain't that kid's dad. I don't know who that kid is. I don't got no son. Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. You are too cool. Good luck on stage. Rock on. Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from, your co-workers. That is a picture. That's not actually where I was born. My co-workers actually didn't ask anything about me. The freedom ending. I played the demo. Adventure awaits. That's the line! That's the line! That's the line! We can't go on that stage. Where's the line? It's not the same. It's not the same. There's no stage fright ending where I leave. Well, chat. Guess we have no choice but to go out there. And, and meet our adoring audience. Oh my god! Thank you everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was gonna do a lap. All of his co-workers were gone. No. What could it mean? Did I have a heart attack? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Here's the line. It was all a dream. Just turn off every computer. Oh, hang on. Hold up. How did I how did I make that part light up? I do not know how I did that. Crap is if I just type random letters. Double back for one second. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of Quiet, his Quiet, you. You shut up now.
Or should like break the windows? God, I bet whoever lives behind this door. Stanley went around touching every really little thing in the cool. office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story. God, I want to meet who lives in there. I assume everyone else lives in this office too. It's not just me. Why? <laughs> Much the way that Luigi would show up to help his brother Mario when he falls to his death 18 times in a level. I too have received a helping hand from the gods. Why, thank you. I will happily accept this journalism mode. Oh, new content? Oh, yeah. What does that mean, new content? The new content ending was in the vanilla game. <laughs> Can you imagine? So type that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, wee! Hang on! Hold up! They put me on a trolley! Wait a minute, I know what happens on trolleys. No. No! Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you know, ah. the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Uh. After receiving uh, critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 uh, with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining uh, of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Uh, Please, step inside and see what uh, thrilling new adventures await in The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Yeah. I don't know about this one. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. The initial game came out fucking like nine years ago, Chad. If this this better blow me away. Um, is it this broken? better blow What's me away. Here? Should we should game's we been in development longer than Elden Ring. Alright, that's all go. I'm gonna say. Alright, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Here we go, baby! Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. We are literally owed the content. I want to see if I can do elevator bit again. It seems we are we are owed the content. All right. All right. Let's see. It's. The jump circle? Press space to jump. Oh my god, they added jump to the game! Chat outside of the circle, you cannot jump! Look, it just said it right there in my achievement! You cannot jump in this video game! Until now. We gotta ration these. We'll only get 27 more. No. No. No, I wasn't done! I wasn't... This game cost me $59.59 USD. And all I got was this... Is... is that it? Jump circle. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Back into the elevator. 
goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if- No, shut right, up! Shut the fuck up! There's more. Very shut good. up now. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Yeah. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. It's gotta be good. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason. I, for one, think this content's actually very and interesting. Don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation. This chair's a new model, man. Let's be honest. He could never have lived up to this such is a lot expectations. Of work. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable Yo. is really about. No frills, Yo. no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. No. What do you say, friend? I believe in the... Uh, uh, uh. Is this... Where am I? That's where I'm... Is that right? Brought out the thing, right? Psst, Stanley, come over here in the vent. I don't trust I like that. I want to show man. you something. I don't trust like that. I don't go into any fucking vent, okay? When someone says, Come into the vent, I want to show you something. I just don't. Oh. You don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? Damn, man. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, never mind. You're not a dork. I just want to see if you'd seriously say something again, dude. I just want to see if you'd say something again, you stupid fucking dork. Hang on. I actually am going to go inside the vent because it looks like... It looks like I'm... I'm going to go back inside the... I'm going to go back inside the thing. I'm going to go back inside it. Wait, what? No. No! 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 No, no, no! The streamer blew it. He's back into the vanilla content. When Stanley came to a set of two Shut open up. doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <gasps> wow. Yes. This room. Shut up. What a but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I didn't. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. No, I'm not. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but Chad, you. Chad, we'll find the new content time. again. Calm the fuck down. Stanley. Before I calm someone you down. Someone you've forgotten about. Huh? Please, stop. What? Really? 
I was in the middle of something. Shut up. Zero I'm looking for new content. Others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Where's the new I, content? I don't know how to convince Send me you back this, now. I want to know what's really in that do vent. I want to help you to show you something beautiful. <clears throat> Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No. No. Now listen carefully, this is important. All right. Stanley walked through the red door. You got it, man. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that Take I Take me really to the new content or you perish. To be happy all this time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Huh? Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. No. What? How did he... Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? The void. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Wow. I actually feel happy. <laughs> wow. Wow, Nito. Wow. Colors. I love the concept of colors. I love looking at the maximum capabilities of the Source Engine. I love the sound of my computer actually revving up like a jet engine because Source it doesn't just doesn't know what to do with anything. <laughs> it's trying so hard. Dootin' moment. Shut up! Don't ruin this! Stop trying to ruin this. Just take it in. What was that sound? I heard a footstep. What was that? It wasn't my foot, I wasn't moving. Someone was getting closer. Wow. What's the color of the lights? Wouldn't you like to know? Look at this colorblind person. Everyone, look at them. Look at them! Laugh at- laugh at them with me! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! What are you, a full dootin'? Wow... When does this end? Does this ever end? I've been sitting here watching these colors for a while. Does it ever end? It has to end. It's been changing. I'm leaving. I'm bored. I'm, a, I'm legally allowed to leave. No, wait. Where are you going? You bored me. No, I'm leaving. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. I'm if you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all stairs. of this. I'm going to do something crazy. Please, I never no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. I'm going to jump Please, off Stanley, the thing. think about what you're doing. All right, man, I'm cool. I'm 
Yeah, cool, cool. Cool. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't. Uh, go I, can't back like I can't live like just, this. I can't live like this. Just just stay here. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. I've had enough of the college. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die. Prove Whatever. it. This isn't getting through to you. Prove it now. Mild Dutton rage. I'll show you mild Dutton rage. Huh? Oh. Ow! Ow! Oh. Ow! Thank God. You Ow. lived. Ow! <laughs> My you leg. You there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? I didn't hear no bell. No. No, no. What are you doing? Stand I didn't please. hear no I'm bell. I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Hang on. Let me think about this for a second. I'm gonna take it away from you. Huh. Stanley, let's go uh. back to the other room. All right, fine. Can you do that for me? Yes, perhaps you can. No, I can't. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. <laughs> My God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? All right, I'm doubling back, Did you man. you throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? I'm, I'm going You're back. You're literally willing to kill yourself to I'm, keep I'm me doubling from back around. Happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? I'm going back to the stupid color zone, all right? Is that going to make you happy? Going to make you stop crying like a little baby? I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, I'm can't you? I'm going to test the waters outside again. No, perhaps not. I think I'm gonna fling myself off the roof because it's more fun than watching the colors. I don't even have things like to do in the color room. All I can do is watch the colors. It's boring. There's nothing to do in the color room. Open this door. Won't even do that. a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. Ow. I just wanted us to get along. Ow. But I guess that was too much to ask. It Ow. looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Me, 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 me. Well, this me, one me, is me, 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 me. Listen to you. Hey, narrator, where's the vent? Where's the vent? Don't get depressed, chat. This guy's manipulating us. He put us in a fucking infinite room of like colors shifting around. He's the sicko, not me. Now I'm gonna throw myself off of this building. Oh! Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. No. No, wait, yes! Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Chat, most of the time, if someone tries to show you something inside of a spooky vent, and they go, psst, and then open the vent, and then I gesture you to come in, don't go in there. General rule of thumb. Like, just don't, just don't do it. Especially if you see a mug on the inside that says coffee nut. Just don't go in there. Ever. It's sus. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the yes. new Ultra Deluxe yes, yeah. content turned out to be. Mm -hmm. But it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used Back to be. Back in the good old days. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. But just because I like the good old days doesn't mean I want to try new things that recreate the good old days. That's blasphemous. Oh, I can't leave because I don't have jump unlocked. Okay. Is this the Elden Ring of storytelling games? So to speak? Whoa. I call it... 
the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Oh my god. N Nito. I remember this part with the t fucking stupid house, the stupid like triangle house. And the basket. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally... Oh, I remember like it was yesterday. Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all <sighs> meant something. 2013, when oh, Stanley Parable was released. That's what a... Now that right there? That's what a... That's what a... God... Damn Steam store page used to look like. Back before it was tainted. Hang on, what language is that? That ain't American! What language is that? <sighs> Never forget the Stanley Parable. Back when it, back in 2014 when it famously won the Independent Games Festival Award. Back in, you know, everyone, everyone remembers, uh, when it, won, when it won a BAFTA. Everyone, everyone remembers that. I was 11. No one won. No one asked. I don't want to think about that. Good times. All the best times. Even. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. <laughs> the good old days. Yo, that's the old website for the Stanley Parable right there. I remember that like it was yesterday. Six Components of a Great Corporate Culture, John Coleman, Harvard Business Review. Huh. Wow. Smile because it happened, chat. Remember that. That's probably a picture of the first dollar that the Stanley Parable ever made. Everyone remembers the Stanley Parable for 2013. There's a demo. That, I got that achievement, dude. A tear falls in my eye. I got that achievement on stream. I got, I unlocked that achievement because I bought the Stanley Parable at launch and literally didn't turn it on for 13 years and then turned it on for stream and then God shut my power off before I could enjoy it. God damn it. I didn't get this one. Yep. British Academy of Films and Television Arts uh, nominated the development team for a BAFTA for game innovation. Hey, how about the BAFTA? How about BAFTA stays in their fucking lane? I don't see anything about the Game Awards in their fucking name. That's all I'm going to say. All right. New video game releasing today from the New York Times. Damn. Wow. 50% off a, a designer hat, but a small creature owns the other half of the hat. I'd invest in that. That sounds like a steal. Wow. Yeah. All of this brings me back. In loving memory of little Stanley. Little Stanley! Ah! Oh, my heart! My heart! It hurts! Remember little Stanley, how he tragically got destroyed in that horrible accident relating directly to the game's design. The tragedy that of course delayed the game by seven years, this new version. In this view, who could forget it? See chat out there, you'll see the maximum render distance of source. 
about a hundred yards. About a hundred yards and then a JPEG of the horizon. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. Ten this out is of ten unity. From Shut up. <laughs> James Stephanie Sterling writes... And They've recreated Source well. We're so many games that aspire to be more than games... Shut up now. ...less than any form of art. Stanley I hate you. Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. Oh That's God. how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Damn. Dude, I literally didn't play this game when it came out. I just don't, like, none of this matters to me. But how could I forget such moments as the door and the main menu of the base game? What's down here? No, I get what's in the scare, what's in, like, the nice zone, but what's in the, uh, what's down here? Memory zone maintenance. Can't open it. Hmm. Wow. Everyone, rem everyone remembers all these famous moments. I know I do. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever wow. been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't Nine you out of ten, the game dude. Was perfect. It didn't need Game anything Spot else. Got it. it didn't Carolyn need new content. Got it. it just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Hey, I, got a, I got a fucking question, Carolyn. How's it 9 out of 10 out of 10 if there's nothing bad about it, stupid? It is a 10 out of 10, man! Embarrassing. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Where have you been hiding What's down this? here? What's down here? What's... What is all this? Oh my god. No. Oh no. Oh god, no. No. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam. No. The online video game distributor. No. These in years. No. I can't no. even imagine what's been collecting down here. Ew. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Ew. Ew. Surely something good has to come out of all this. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. Uh. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the reason. And funny! Dude, I am scared to move on. There's so many of them. By God, they're everywhere. Thousands upon thousands of these old reviews should have been left in the past, forgotten. I wish I could read them. Locked. Okay, 
and see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You wouldn't tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you it's, can. Sometimes it, it's a little much. So, uh, sometimes, sometimes only a little bit. I always will. To be honest, I had always thought of the game uh, uh, as being rather bit. terse sometimes. to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Remember the elevator? Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say, narrator. Oh, Remember elevator bit? To hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Damn, man. Sometimes it's just like that. That's why you never want to look back ever. That's why you literally never want to look back in your entire life. Always be staring forward and charging forward as fast as you can blindly. So you never think about your past. Ever. Ever. You just can't. Oh god, do I even want to know? That one looks like it has at least fucking six hours in it, and they downgraded it. Nine and a nine point eight. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Oh Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's oh. my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Are you sure about this one? Uh... Man. There's nothing more badass than looking at complaints on the internet and simply doubling down on doing whatever pisses people off. Trust me. It's it's the best play. You don't understand. This won't make it'll just make this will just make people angrier. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just Skip. the push of a... Damn, that is helpful. You see, you were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature Skip. of choice. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on it's a like the movie display click. of self-absorption, it's right Skip. at your... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That Unless you pay me $30, I'd press it again! 30, 45 minutes? You pay me or I'd press it again! Durable by any okay, means. I press! Well, Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. Not 12 hours long enough. We're going to need to add more time unless you do stop talking already. Truly getting longer in my god. We need to add another 12 hours. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... For two hours. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak. Shut up! I think that that's... <laughs> oh, hello, it's you, you're here again, welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything. Oh, uh, through. pass. <laughs> Hello? Hello? It's just us now. Door's gone. They sealed this in. They... they sealed this in the goddamn tomb. 
All that's left now is me in the button. Looks at wrinkled hands. Time ain't even moving anymore. That or the battery's broken. <gasps> oh! Fucking fire alarm's going off. <laughs> Stop that demon sound! Stop it now! How long do I have to live like this? It's carbon monoxide is filling the air. <laughs> But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth. Some people said, never learn their goddamn us. lesson. It wasn't enough. Hey. <laughs> Please. Please, this has to end. This has to end. How many millennia do you all think it's been? The end is never the end, 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 Pipes are oozing slime. Or that's just water. Hang on, I'm gonna go check. That tastes like slime. That's slime. It looks like water, but that's definitely slime. You can tell by the taste. It's the taste that matters. It's not it's not the color. When we emerge from this tomb, chat, it's a million years will have passed. Imagine how how society will have progressed by then if that black mold doesn't uh, just travel any farther down that wall and then flow into our lungs and kill us. Help! Somebody! Somebody, please! I don't have arms, and I already used my 35 dev allocated jumps. I can't jump out. Wow. Eventually a tree will grow here, chat. And that tree will allow us to climb out of this place. I have a good feeling. Never mind. Fucking God damn it. Seems some kind of catastrophe happened. Maybe is that dust or it's ashes. It's ashes. Let's just move forward. I'd like to move forward now. What? Oh, oh my God. I don't know how to live outside anymore. Hey, Raina.
must walk into the sun until we find a new narrator to take us in. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No, no matter how hard no. Stanley looked, he couldn't find a no. trace of his co-workers. Oh, no, no. Something's wrong. Why is that so? Why does it all say that? Just input one. Oh, it seems like every time I go around, I can do another part of the input. So after five loops, I'll be able to finish that. New, new content. Devs put out a patch. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. New patch. Let's do this. New, fresh content. Wait a minute, but if it's something you made, I want to instinctively ruin it. No, never mind, I can't. All right, let's see what you got, narrator. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. Mm -hmm. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Agreed. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first Where's time Where's my skip ever, button? The Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a full-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Go. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Let's fucking go away. Oh, I can't leave. All right, well, it was a good try. Wow. Everything's all new. Wow. The Investor Showcase. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us building castles in the sky. Just the two of us, you and I. One plus one is two minus one is one. Every pause button is a Roman numeral two. New mug. One more the Stanley parable. Two better the Stanley parable. Win win. One two. There's two words in win win technically. Sequential mind share. Two. One. Two? Better than one. According to this, it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense for it to not be better than one. One come first, one get third place. Wait. Paradigm shift, synergy, brick and mortar approach, envelop client centric marketing. The color red. Leverage holistic value. One go to two. 
the Stanley Parable. One side of brain, two side of brain, red side of brain. Call it red good. According to according to the screen, uh, two plants. Uh, didn't look at the didn't look at the uh, scary um, uh, fern last time either though. Uh, don't really understand the point of the fern. Didn't touch that. Didn't go near that. Scared of fern. No fern. But two now. Two better than one. Yes. Stanley Parable on a laptop. Better than normal Stanley Parable on not laptop. Tell you that much. Stanley Parable logo ideas. Thanks for attending my meeting. Maybe it needs a little bit of work, but the Stanley Parable 2 seems pretty good. That one, the, the second one seems especially inspired. The Stanley Parable, there is time with co-op functionality, yes? It's very good, thank you for watching my PowerPoint. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I hope it has a jump by I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Wow. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical. Agreed. Really. Absolutely. Let's take a look at the math here. Let's take a look at what we do have. Meeting plan. At goo. Wait, no, that says nine. No, that says goo. No, that says goo. No one does nines with the G looking thing. That says goo o'clock. That says goo. At goo, that's when we scrum. At 10, design pitch. 11.30 break. 11.35 pitch design. 12.02 number two chat. Gotta have two twos there. What's the point? Not 12.22 though. Two, two, two. The red two looks better. I think that's the best looking two. That one, something about that seems oddly off-putting. I don't like the look of that number. Two eyes, two ears, two nostrils, two arms, two legs. What else is there even to add? Who took the red marker? Me. Whole. Oh, that's actually that's kind of sinister. <laughs> That's sinister. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Who took the red marker? Me! I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You guys hang out with this sinister image. And think about all the different twos we have, truly. Two enjoyable seconds left before tomato comes back. Oh my god. Two chairs, two red chairs, three green chairs. Kill one of them. Kill one of these chairs. Get it out of here. Don't need it. Two. The prequel to the Stanley Parable. <laughs> two is the sequel to the Stanley Parable. Hang on. To the Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable. Two is... Uh, Stanley Parable, that's a two. Take it to the bank. That's a two. Valued investors, this way to the show floor. New fe here we go, chat, new features, let's get this party underway. The new content party bus. Keep your ice cream out of the gas tank. Now, just in case. Maybe we get a jump circle. Oh my god. 
Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. What is this? Oh my god. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. What if it doxes me? <laughs> what if it knows my true name? Maybe we don't go in the button room. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? What if, it's a, and of what if it calls me Greg or something? <laughs> what if it calls me like a random person? That's not my name. Recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Oh my god. This button's too big. That one's too small, but that one's just right. It fits the whole hand in it. Well, that's the button that says the name of the whole game. The, my name, my whole name, the, all, all my name. I'm hovering over the mute button because if it even, if I hear a J in there, I ain't going to let it finish like all the way through. What if it says my last name? <laughs> Sorry, that's, I should have clarified. Right now, that's the uh, that's not my name. Jim, but that was that that scared me. Game, this that did scare me. Name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. My name's Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, mm -hmm. sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Sounds like Jim. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. I am... Jim. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Hi, the last guy's Let's coded a, a jump into the game. Can we have the jump button added again? This personal validation. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes Whoa! a person can be too It actually much feels better when no one tells you to do it. I'm putting the gym button away. No, no! Very soon you'll start to lose all gym. sense of gym. who you actually gym. are. Gym. No! Hang on. No, I can... I can fix this myself. Chad, I can just... I can fix this myself. Hang on, I can just... <sighs> Give me a second. Jim. Okay, now I can just... I just go back and if I... If I go back now, do this. Jim. Okay, now I just turn that down. Now whatever. Jim. 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 Okay. It's kind of... I kind of wouldn't mind it being a little bit faster is all. I just need a little bit... You know, just a little bit faster, maybe. Just a... Jim. 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 It's not the same, man! It's not the fucking same! It's not the same! Jim. Jim. Uh, that one kind of hits, though. Hang on, that one kind of hits well. Jim. No, that's like that's like no, that's not it. That's not it. Jim. No. Jim. 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 Maybe we just do, hang on. Maybe we just Jim. do a couple. Okay. 
Jim. 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 Jim, dude. I'm Jim, man. I'm Jim. I'm Jim. Jim. No! I did it! Jim. Whatever. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. That seems like a... I don't want to go that way. Please, no screenshots. Whole new office. I don't even know what my screenshot button is. Hang on. <laughs> hang on, guys. Just don't... No one... Hang on. I just gotta... I, I just gotta turn off my feed for one second. Just give me one... Just give me one second. Okay. Don't take any screenshots of that stuff, I swear I'll tell. The button that says the name of the player playing the game. Jump circle! Jump! They got jump circle over there. Hang on, first of all, I want to check out uh, the merch. You guys want to check out the merch? You guys want to buy some merch? Nah, I don't feel like it. Maybe later. Zero three four four. What the hell does that mean? Hang on. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. Agreed. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. made me sad. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Where is you it? see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind oh. and your heart. It's true. Uh. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> huh? Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, Ugh. even in the face of crushing despair, oh. must already be sweeping through your body. Oh. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air mm. of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive oh. as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? <clears throat> All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable. But I want this room. now. I'm, I'm gonna keep the bucket. The bucket's mine. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video this game? This bucket is mine. That man. really should be an award if it isn't already. This bucket's mine. Oh, it's my bucket. Exclusive, the button that says Jim. You heard Jim in the game. I guess they updated it to just be Jim. 
Is that Jim? I guess I'm. G I guess the main character's name is Jim now. Well, let's go this way. Office decorations in the infinite hole. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Ah. Uh, happy 12th birthday, step niece. Or get well someday. That one seems more generally positive to me. I kind of like get well someday. Because it doesn't, it doesn't put too much pressure on you to get well now, you know? Because that's kind of, that can be threatening sometimes if someone says get well. Just get it, get well someday. I like it. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. The only thing keeping me from screaming like a rabid animal and throwing an immense tantrum that would have this entire convention shut down is the barrel. A bucket. Actually, it's not even a bucket. It's I not even a barrel, it's a no. bucket. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Hang on. Everyone shut the fuck up. Everyone shut up now. I re added the jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a. Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. What's even to do here? Exit, I don't want to leave. I never want to leave. This is the future. We have collectibles here. We've got... We've got collectibles. We, got, we didn't have these before. Can you find them? Collect them all. Everyone knows one of the greatest collectibles of all is the ah, primordial atoms that make up the universe. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, the your primordial atoms, we need to collect the orb. Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. There it is, baby. There it is, baby. That's Stanley. That's a that's a Stanley. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. What does that say? Free new and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. It just works. Get it here. Free achievement. Get yours right now. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps after that. It just works. Get yours right now. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Yeah. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. That looks like a lot of hardware for... an achievement. But you got it. Barrel says... Barrel. I'm gonna call it a barrel forever now, like a fucking idiot. The barrel says Polly. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last <coughs> hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. Gamers! And I promise it will happen. 
Gamers, rise, rise up now, gamers. Why? Whatever, this fucking, this, this part of the fucking convention sucks. Anyways, I don't care. Achievements are for idiots. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? There's, uh, there's this, uh, spooky hallway over here, which seems to have some abstract art. Hey, Rao Career, thanks for the fucking 10 T3 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Jesus. What is this? Some kind of hole? It just keeps going. Infinite hole chart. Hole. Depth. More hole. Infinity. Hole entrance and it goes forever. Thanks for those tier 3 subs. Very kind of you, even though I know you misclicked and did accidentally did that. Oops. Uh oh, no refunds. But thank you. So kind. Thank you. You get the funny sound. Simple as that. There it is, Chad. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. That hole goes down a long way. The holy moly, how deep can we dig? The answer will mildly surprise you. Here we are. The infinite hole. if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop what? back up to the top and we can continue onward. Maybe I'm not done yet, old man. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe we do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum. Maybe I want to see what's at the bottom. Hmm? <laughs> I want to be mildly surprised. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the what? hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. How close from is it from where I am? It's merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Ah! 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 Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me Someone's outstanding. Someone's throwing their cigarettes I'm down here. I'm a cheat and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, the thing's got a little Dude, heat calm down. there. I it's think we both said hole. some things we didn't like, Whatever. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. No, I'm gonna die on this hill. It's not an infinite hole. I'm not about to break on that. I refuse to be deceived by anyone, especially a game developer. I just simply won't. Broom closet two, dude. <laughs> here it is. Kicking back. Everyone grab your snacks. I'm gonna be here a while. I hate all game devs. Buying the game just to post a negative review because the hole isn't infinite. 
Oh, uh, whatever. Great. Now, I'm very excited. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. <laughs> I love holes. A normal person would have said, yeah, that's You know me cool. too well. I'm <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, no, no. no. You have a weird sort of. Ow! Oh. Did it get shorter? Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. All right, I've had, had enough. enough. I'm I need a little more hole. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. <laughs> this stuff, <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting it's Schrodinger's to infinite it's hole. no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. All right, man. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. <clears throat> How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. All right, man. It's not working. Hmm. Help. Is the, uh, Help! Help! I don't have any jump tokens and we're not in the jump you circle. Sure? Well, I mean... Help! Help! I have an explanation. Still nothing. Well, I suppose... I, I suppose there is one thing I can don't do. Don't kill this. me! I'm out. What? Goodbye, Stanley. No. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole. No! Now you'll get more time with it than you could ever no, have asked No, no, no! It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of it. My name is... Jim. Anyways, asshole. And I thank you to remember that. Forever! Just me and you now, hole. Just me and you. <gasps> what? What? It's alive! It's alive! The hole is alive! It descends. was an elevator all along. We just didn't know. We never bothered to ask. Oh my God. How deep does the hole go? Deepest possible we could ever imagine. Perhaps even infinitely. Oh shit, man! Come on! Let's find out what's at the bottom of that hole! The Legend of Jim! The hang on. Oh, this is now oh, this is music to descend into the depths of hell to. Whoa!
Trials, are we good? Ah! Ah! 127! <laughs> what is, what's going on? Hang on. Hang on. My head's stronger. You're no longer using Hang on. I can fix it. I can fix it. Nope. Stanley. Help! Stanley! Help! Oh, good. You're uh. right. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. Oh. You don't want to miss a single moment. Uh, so how about geez. if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? Thank you. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. I and like I'm looking hole. forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. Narrator. Narrator, don't Ooh. go. Narrator. Narrator. Don't do it. Don't. <gasps> it freed me. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. It freed me. The devs knew. Well, in that case, I'm going to take the scary uh staircase here gym button you think the gym button's back hang on you're right you're right fuck that's not activating the dialogue i think the gym button's gone he you see chat here's the thing does does is there even a chance that maybe they didn't predict that I would climb back into the hole again. Nah, I'm done. I'm done with the hole. I don't want to do the hole anymore. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stan? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It would go at the end of the. Um. Uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, at the end of the game. Oh, they did change the uh, name of the infant hole. Wait, what is this? Settings World Champion. What? Is that in my settings? Can I turn on World Champion mode? So how I get in? World champs only. I, I'm the champ. I'm I'm the one. I have the fucking bucket. You all know this. I, I'm the best. Well. There's not much more to do at the convention, man. Where do I, what do I do now? I did it. I'm not having fun anymore. I want to leave. Don't make me go back to the fucking hole. It's time to network, Jim. Maybe I just, maybe I just go back to the hole. It is infinite after all, that means. No. 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 This game has taken everything from me.
exit. There's a second exit. We can just take this exit. Simple as that. Exit. I've had enough of this. Uh, I don't really think I want to buy Stanley Parable 2. I think the game kind of right. spoiled itself. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Yeah. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Okay. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Got it. What is this? Hang on, what is this? Um. Wait, what is this? Well, um, I mean, there's potential here. Hang right? on, it's I don't like this image. Sort of, what is this? Okay, never mind. Well, the hole's there, that's Hold good. On. Let me do a different I like the hole. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Here we go. Hole's bigger. That's good. <sighs> and it's in the the jump Stanley? circle is in the hole. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. The button. And I do very much the, enjoy the button. Gags, the, but they don't yeah. add up to button. anything. Button. <laughs> I wanted more. I'm deleting that button, dude. I gotta get rid of that. That would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait. Maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable oh and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity yeah, of the original. Yeah, yeah! Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. I don't know, but it dude, would ask a for really Dark Souls 2 really Tremendous dude. title screen. A title screen it that kind of did that. Bold and they kind of did that with their like fucking this scholar of the first the sin. They kind of like to remixed. It How's that go for something up. <laughs> all right, perfect. Overwatch two, okay. dude. You're right, dude. It's, it's happening every day all around us. Devs are doing this. Whoa. We are here. We are in the Stanley Parable two. Let's get a look at the credits first. Yep. Let's take a look at those settings. Let's get in there. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company those, in a big building balloons. where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley, was happy. Dude, he didn't add the co-op mode. I am outraged. And then one day, I just realized I haven't been talking about it. Something that would forever change. Where's Stan? the co-op mode? Something they he promised. would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. And where's my when bucket? When he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. And where's the cat no picture? To give him oh, I see these fucking balloons. Meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the, the balloons longest do, yeah, time. Yeah, the balloons do add something. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, guys, early, here we go. First view of the new area. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Someone, no how someone's knees just, st sorry, step knees just turned 12. 
All right, congratulations. Stanley picked up the bucket. Ah, uh, yes. Fuck is, why is this part cord enough? I don't understand that. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I don't follow the rules. Come on, Bucket. I'm going to teach you how we play it back where this I'm from. The correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the Bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the Mean the to Bucket. Be. Get it. You would never understand. And here it was. Had the Bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the I meeting room? I trust you, Bucket. Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. The bucket's right. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No. No, said the bucket. <gasps> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Yes, bucket. The cargo lift, yes. Yeah. Go there. I'm go going to, to the, the cargo, cargo lift, lift bucket. What's good, said the bucket. What should now I do, ride bucket? The lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Okay, bucket. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, we because listen to the bucket. Talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. I love the bucket. Love the bucket. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley Where? once again obeyed blindly. Which dark room? I don't see a dark room. Bucket, I don't see a dark room. Just in here and then around the corner? Oh. All right, Bucket. You got it. Oh! Oh! Now pick up the phone. Bucket, said what's bucket. happening? Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Hello? This is the sad story of a man named Stanley uh, and his bucket. Uh, Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. Where's my bucket? And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to where's him. Where's my fucking bucket? It's a basket. It's not my bucket. Bucket? Oh. Oh. There you are. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press G to take me to work with you. You got it. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing, the bucket say to bucket him is just in his head. Press C to take me back home with you. You got it, Bucket. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Bucket Chan, press L to go back to work. Yes, Bucket Chan, well, yes. I'll try anyway. Stanley, oh. can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. Oh. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do You're anything. You're wrong! Else. You're wrong! Don't listen to the loud man. Press B to put us for us to go back home. Press B now! Yes, Bucket. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. Oh. He's still taking orders from the Bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful Bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Bucket. Press X so we can go everyone in your life except for me. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. 
He's from now on, just he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, he's jealous empty, of the bucket. He's this jealous. sort of shiny bucket. He's just hmm. stun locked because I picked a bucket, bucket over him. Really shine to it. That's all it is. He's just embarrassed because I like a bucket more than I like him. Isn't that right, Bucket? You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press J to go back to home. Yes, Bucket, yes. <laughs> yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. I love you, Bucket. Press R to relive the same day with me over and over. Yes, Bucket. I would want nothing more. Oh, my God. What am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? It's my bucket. The bucket I've carried all along. The one that's always been with me. Through the good times and the bad. As after, of course, Stanley Parable 2's release. Uh, up until that point, he was nowhere to be found. But ever since then, he's been here. Press K to go home to work, to home, to work, to home. Yes, my bucket. Oh no, I'm, I'm having feelings. What? For the bucket. Back off! No, 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 what's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Stay do anything away. it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Stay away, bucket's mine. If I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes, the bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. And stay away. It's bucket and I special night tonight. Candles and all. Bucket. <laughs> Stanley, give me the bucket. No! Give it to me. No! Give me the bucket, no! Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give Close your eyes. Go back to work, Stanley. Yes, Bucket. Bucket? Bucket! Even now, Stanley's office was a distant Bucket! Moment. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer oh. recall. Oh, my God. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, ah. and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest, and entered the door on his left. Okay. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Look, it will protect me in these trying times. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. What? You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It it's can a try. Day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. It can try. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Shut up. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be. Given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. My best friend. Oh, we're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet You're is? You're so predictable. Resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? I'll kill him, Stanley. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. I'll kill them all. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly what? deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? 
that your life is so banal and meaningless what? that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate they're, they're object wrong, which happened to in your true, path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning. I only have a state in here because I thought it was funny for a chat pick for a clip. You and the bucket I didn't care. Go through each of them. I never liked points. this place. Share your journal. I think it's. I get bored every single time I go in here. Of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Did him. I love this bucket more than I'd ever love you, broom. You just. Don't, what is that? Oh, this is a wrench. As I was saying, uh, the bucket. The bucket okay. and I. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. I saw something shiny and I just. Couldn't. There. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, yeah, fuck you. with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets. That's, and that's my bucket things. right there. <laughs> now no one will ever get confused as oh, to right. who's... I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. That's you my see? bucket. I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That my way, bucket right there, property of Stanley. The is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, oh, it's a bucket. It's my bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Give me, give me another sticker. I'm not moving until you give me another one. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now nah, the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. How dare and you? To be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. And you know what? At no point do you say the story of me, my bucket, and my broom. <laughs> because you're irrelevant to the plot. And you always have been. Good day, sir. I just want to see if he yell at me. Come on, bucket. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Bucket, with your help, maybe I won't go crazy in the basement. With your, with you keeping me stable, maybe now I can, oh, <gasps> bro! We found one of them, one of the miniature Stanley. Bro, that's a Stanley collectible. No reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. She believes that. I'm still going in this room. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting oh, no. he had left Yeah, I could hear the guy switch fucking recording that. studios. We are still in the old ending. It's the vanilla ending again. I heard him switch recording studios, dude. He's on a new mic. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, No! I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket oh, in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. Bucket, am I? The bucket returned his gaze. But said nothing at all. Isn't that strange? No, that is weird. That is weird. The bucket is a weird. source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. Bucket? And that's when Stanley realized this isn't my bucket. What? It's just a normal, everyday bucket. How did you get these stickers? I bag. throw the bucket. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? How did... This is all terribly wrong. Where's my Surely bucket? I dropped the bucket. Would come from this. Who knows what <sighs> sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence Help. of the bucket. Help. Indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. My bucket! Now he felt himself floating off the ground. It's all but happening again! It's all happening again! Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. I needed that Where bucket, man! I must find it. Far Help. off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley! Stanley, it's me! 
the bucket. bucket! Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket <laughs> after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special uh -huh. bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. Bucket! Bucket, which he one of these are the you, man? He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly I'd restore his sanity. I'd be able to smell Bucket and anywhere. Suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the Bucket had been coming from. The real Bucket was inside of him all along. Huh? It was incredibly painful. <coughs> Stanley doubled over in agony <coughs> and blacked out. <coughs> This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place. Man, that really. <laughs> but on this particular. So instead of me fucking the bucket. Interrupted by the. <laughs> Not even bothered. Stumbled through town, talking and screaming <laughs> to himself, and then. Hey, what's to that bucket doing? It. Right away, what? she what's knew the what. The Why is she in my bucket? This man had no bucket. Of course, he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his. Get your hands off of that thing, you harlot! And and That's my bucket. It and it's always all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket. No bucket. <laughs> but of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide no absolute bucket. guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass, and she backflipped all the way to work. They had me going thinking that it was a uh, repeat ending for a second. Oh, huh? Oh. Bucket. The confusion and the chaos <gasps> all seemed to melt away oh. as Stanley embraced the bucket. Good to see you, Bucket. It's been some time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. We're going up. Going up top. To the boss himself. What? There will be a reward for finding them all. What? Somewhere both red and blue nearby a fireplace is a private but smelly place for an important purpose. A large room, lots of boxes. How can you tell if you spot one? It makes them float in the air. Who took the pictures of them? Probably me. In an alternate reality. Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet. Give me Simply another sticker I'm now! I'm not going anywhere. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. Give it to me now! But alas, no stickers. <sighs> Fine. Let's go, Bucket. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Give me this. Another miniature Stanley figure. It's a miniature Stanley right um, there. There's some, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands, Stanley figs? Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Hmm. Wow. Can't believe they designed that whole toilet room just to put a fucking miniature Stanley in it. Hang on, before I do this. Yeah, no, I'm gonna take the elevator. There's no way. Bucket, with your guidance, there's no way this elevator doesn't work. Come on. Let's do this. Well, that elevator is broken. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. You keep me Even stable, now, Bucket. In his I darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. Hey chat, it's so wild because I'm thinking. I don't remember asking you to tell me what codes to put in. Stanley just sat around I'm twiddling his thumbs, really hard. trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Yes. Of course. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley Stan figlies, Lareen. and now I'm torn between Stanlorines and figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What Figly, I think, is pretty good. I think it would confuse sense people. of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Yeah, it's just wild that you backseat without me asking when I already have the bucket. Like, I, I don't know, just like fucking stay in your goddamn lane. You know? The elevator raced downward. Hey, Bucket, you want to see a funny joke that really fate. pisses off this bozo? It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself hey, bucket, together, if not for you want to see a funny one? Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The Bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. This one kills him. Wait, Stanley said to the Bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. I'll press the number three like 18 times if that's what you want, bucket. If that's what you want from me, bucket, I'll do anything. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Bucket, are you not Once having fun Stanley with me? Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. Well, he gets back into the elevator then. I guess if Bucket doesn't want, doesn't want to hang out with me up here, then we'll just move on, I guess, since Bucket has stuff to do today. Perhaps the Bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. It's fine, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. Here I go again. No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. Dude, the bucket is cringing. I can fucking feel it. The bucket is cringing so hard. Here we go, said Stanley. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number three 
and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams Why and Why is the bucket not fears. having fun? And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was bucket. doing. Why are we not having fun the anymore? The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. I don't want to play with the number three. Right. Stanley and the bucket were so close, they'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? Bucket, you changed, man. I don't know. I just don't know how else to say it. Maybe he'll enjoy the joke if I go up one more time. Are you having fun yet, Bucket? said Stanley. I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he would speak mm -hmm. to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate I'll, I'll the bring the crowd in to explain to Bucket why, why the fuck so his sense of humor pressing. sucks and mine then is good. Bucket would be all able right. to see his joy through the eyes of others. It will get to see the world react to this discovery. Bucket's gonna get it after this one. Uh, Bucket's gonna get the it. Public eye that the bucket would finally understand Stanley's work. All right, Bucket. No more, no more goofing around. For months, he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived. Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. This is the this is the spot for threes. This was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. Three. 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 Alright, bucket. An audience with the dude who came up with pizza. Hang on, hold up. I just don't care about the rest of the plot right now. I gotta know what's up with the dude that made up pizza. That's him. That's the guy who invented pizza. That's the real one. All right, Bucket, come on, you and me. There was no one here. Huh? Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley huh? speak to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. He was unloved, uninteresting, he was a failure, and in that moment Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no oh. deeper understanding. <laughs> the bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them Bucket. grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, Bucket. neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be What's no wrong with games, the number three, no man? No long conversations about passion and pursuit, only a silence that consumed the space between friends. And Stanley having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. Oh my god. For the number- all for the number three? Damn.
All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hard pass. We're done. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the so door. So there's one room in a, in a place full of many boxes. I think that might be the storage area. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, Should and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Straight through past the employee lounge. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Or this room, maybe. This room has a lot of boxes. But it's going to close behind me if I go in there. This room has even more boxes. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god! You're getting close now, Stanley. Where's You've the last one? You've gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be... Oh my god! We'll be different god. people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. Place and the red and blue. We had them all. I truly you don't remember what that place no could be. And Marines. None of us can. Mm, red and blue. Don't remember. I have to kill myself. Oh, this event. I'm trying. I'm thinking like red and blue door, but I don't. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off what? the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path huh? that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? Ah, that's funny. What a silly and trite <laughs> explanation that would be. All the back and forth oh, between you man. and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, that and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording. It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal I and fucking love storytelling. Those. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Ah... <sighs> Now I've become sad. You made Look me what you've sad. Done to me. You kept yelling at me. You don't understand why this was my fault. You did this. You made that joke. That made me feel bad. Huh? Huh? Hello? Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. Huh? If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message what? into your perceptual sphere. Huh? Thank you, and have a pleasant day. Well, I mean, I'm not hanging out with any recorded messages. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay, chat. Which, where's the last one? The red and blue area. You can tell me. You officially at this point have permission. I feel like I've been there but can't remember, right? Okay. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps okay, so he wanted to in stop the by the employee lounge first, just to admire is that, is, So that's jumping off onto the scaffolding Stanley thing, right? Stanley headed Butterfly. Just don't do what he says. Okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Copy that. 
Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust Shut in someone up, else can be difficult. Idiot. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you what? Really? Ignored. I'm going to like you achievement have zero hunting consideration dude. for others. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? Ignored. I don't know hard. how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Ah. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove <gasps> that I'm on Shut your up. side. And there it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. That's Stigly Wiggly. Save this moment, Stanley. This Time is to get a the new accomplishment. Ending. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where Time so for many reward. people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. What? Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I'd like to begin the game again. Reset! I want to go back to the meeting room. Wait. The balloons? Huh? Stanley, I'm huh? sorry, but I have to huh? pause. <gasps> it's just oh! those figurines. Those figlies. The figlies! I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. That made me feel nauseous. Perfectly fulfilling moment of your entire I did not life. see that. Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? The memory zone. I would love nothing God, I to fucking love to go back to the memory zone. Just one more time. If, you need, if only for a second. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. God damn it, brings a tear to my eye every time. Here's where it all began. The first collectible. I'll never forget then, this one. we had no idea this was how the best many one. of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Seven out of six. The bodies of the damned piling up by the, by the glowing orb. Beautiful. And here was the second Stan Marine. I'll be honest, back then I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these Come on, dude, it's not even fucking hard. Of course it was in the toilet room. It's the only reason you put that room in the game, dude. It's only, there wasn't a toilet ending. Hey, that's exactly right. I'm not it dumb. Was here in the boss's I'm not stupid. Bathroom. It All was right? the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory. I remember it like it was I yesterday. Be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. True. Let's see what came next. Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh yeah, with the Although, giant apple. I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory nah. zone. So it must it, have happened. It was the apple room. It was the apple room. We all loved the apple room. I had a good time in the apple room. That was a good room. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. There it is, baby. There it is, baby. What 
What's that back there? What's that shiny little thing? That's mini stand number five. Got it. You found it near the cargo lift. Thanks for watching. Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Now for the last one, the most important one of all. Found in the red and blue room. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. I thought something was gonna get me, like a giant figly. I was wrong. You are in the present. And then there was no more, because we've caught up to the present moment. Uh -huh. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Uh -huh. Um. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Undo, Isn't there undo. some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll right. do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. You got it, man. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue yep. doors. I remember this. I grabbed that one I there. Say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, yep. this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. Yep, and then we, next we went back to the cargo zone. And here's where I made that video. Yep. Don't you remember the I video I love that video. Watched? There it is. You found it near the cargo lift. Thanks for watching. Yes. I love it. Like it was video. yesterday. Ah, oh, and this was the pink apple. What? Yeah, there it is. Still don't remember the pink room. Nah, story. I love the pink Still room. Still no memory of this one. Good nah, room, it was good. Though. It was good. A solid room. It was a fun room. It was fun. I, I remember this one. Next was the toilet. Everyone remembers the toilet. <laughs> These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. Yeah. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Mm -hmm. Next one. Everyone knows, though, that the best one of all was, of course, the one underneath the stairwell. You just never expected to look back. Then. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. You just never want to look back. Choose then? to leave it. Keep going. And of course, the final figly was uh, located in the uh, void room with the uh, body. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Well, um, before this was when I came into the zone. In the... Jump circle. The beginning of the game. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. Where's In the fact, hole? I dare say I'm Narrator. actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more, more memories. Take me back even further. Back when things were simple. Oh yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory. Classic doors. Loved it. 
And before everything else, there was your office. Mm hmm. The class. Anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was. I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. Oh my God. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But ah, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. We I can do were it. the narrator. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take and care Stanley of myself. And Stanley was the narrator. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. It was all no, a dream bit. We're in the memory zone. How about one more good memory? It was Let's all a dream bit. And give Stanley just one like they more said. The and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. Which one last this ride? This is the story of a man named Stanley. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I just want to find the hole. That felt like, that felt like the end, quote unquote. But the thing is that it never ends, quote unquote. So that was like the ending, quote unquote, unquote, unquote. But I mean, I know there's still like more stuff. Uh, when Stanley came to a set of I'm gonna two follow, I'm gonna listen to him. He entered the door on his Let's left. just listen to him. Reboot the, hang on. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. All death four! Restarting? Zero hesitation? Why would I hesitate? What's there to hesitate for? The time right now is 7.16 p.m. Hang on, hang on. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. That's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, it'll set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Thanks. It's 420. Begin the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big boat. Skip! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had I don't even like the bucket memo. anymore. I just don't want it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's see what the meeting room says now. What? Yet there was not a single person here huh? either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, what? Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. You got it, man. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his I go upstairs like I was office. asked. I go to the executive toilet. <laughs> nothing of consequence. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Once again! Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in once again! who orchestrated this. What dark secret once was Once again! What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it it's an three, 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 but... pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley Two, couldn't possibly eight, have known four, this. Five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, yeah, Stanley happened I to input get the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened... Where's area. the hole? Can you guys imagine if I went down on the elevator and then back up again? I just imagine if I, like, arrived at the bottom and then went up. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. That would be funny. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Hello? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Where's the hole? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Where's my what hole? What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? The infinite hole. It's gotten larger than I remember. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced oh to God. images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored. Where the is the hole? It meant nothing. Damn it! This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh my god! I mean, we've done this. I'm just trying to see if, like, this gives us something no. new when we do it. He refused no. to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life we've done this in, in the past. someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to no. the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Where's Controls all? labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded for Omega this Omega vanilla ending. And as the cold reality of his power. Turn it off this time. Do you think I re do you think I'm like is it actually Stanley have I actually fit like did I do it wrong? Would never again exert its terrible Cuz I feel like it's not going to give me a new thing. Life. I feel like I'm in Omega I think I truly am in Omega the vanilla controls ending. once and for all. I think I might have to actually quit the menu. I'm going to actually quit the desktop. I don't I don't think I'm going to get a true ending or like anything new out of that one. Like truly. Just play it. Dude, I don't have much more time trying to find the thing. Although I'm also not compelled to play 100% completion. Please enter the current time. They promised. <laughs> ah, 4.20 p.m., your favorite time of day. Or 
Could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious. How accurate is four, how accurate 4.20 p.m. is? Let's use another slider to find out. It's inaccurate. You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. It feels like I'm learning more about you and how you like, the thing, how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm, perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip up a couple new ones now. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Wow. This is a story. I just don't care. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, I'm definitely not exactly when Stanley came to like dead set on door, finding every single ending. Obviously, that's something you guys can do. I've the ending that we got with the narrator felt like a pretty solid ending to me, regardless of if I got like the yet there was not a single one. person here. So I'm either. probably just gonna wrap up. Feeling a wave of disbelief. You guys get game. Just buy the up. game and play it yourself. I don't know what to tell you. I just don't know what to tell you. Other than what I exactly just said. I've had a lot of fun playing this, but um I'm definitely I definitely don't feel like I need to show everyone every single part of this game. You know, because I'd be here forever. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up. I will be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. as EST. Forgot about the cat. Ending the stream without picking up the bucket. What a shit streamer. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. We'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Thanks for uh, subscribing, gifting bits, and subscriptions. Thanks. It's very kind of you. I'm so fucking hungry, man. I'm fucking hungry. If you gifted subs and I missed it, I am sorry. I don't think I missed any, though. Prismatic Wolf, thanks for the 500 bits. The boss wanted to see you. Something about you committing money laundering and tax evasion. Don't tell him I'm tell him I died. Or something. Big Zam the Wise, thanks for the 100 bits. Really enjoying catching my first live stream instead of YouTube hot. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I can flam things at 235 bits. Little idiot falls down the well again. I just can't stop jumping in the hole. But no, yeah, that was uh that was a, an immense upgrade from the base game. Easily worth the extra, like, because you get it on a discount if you own the original. So I only paid like $8 for it. I think. Hang on. I think I, I think it might have been, hang on, let me check. It was only $17. I, you get like $8 off if you own the original. And that feels pretty fair. Uh, considering how much they added. Although I will say, um, the new content seems, oh, and obviously I didn't, I'm not sure I played a ton of it very clearly, uh, cause there's always some weird new thing you're finding. feels a little bit more linear than the base game, but I think that's fine. It feels a tiny bit more like linear, like everything has a sort of set trajectory in the bonus con and like the new stuff. But who knows? I'd have to play more of it to be sure. It's not a nitpick though. It's not really. It's not really a problem to me, because I like the storytelling and the writing in it. And if it's a little more curated, then that's fine too. But yeah, I will see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.